everyone hello welcome to the channel so guys today we're gonna do a reading why is he avoiding you and the connection okay we have part one part two part three and part four um i show you the signifiers <clears throat> those are my little space cards so this is part one if you feel drawn to this pile you can choose this pile this is the pile for pile two the signifier this is the signifier for pile three <clears throat> and this is the signifier for my pile four so please choose your pile and then we see each other at the piles if you are here for the first time <clears throat> please make sure to like the video also for all my other purple lights of course but if you're here for the first time, please also subscribe to the channel. It would make us very happy. And yeah, my name is Purple. We are the Purple Lights here on my channel. And yeah, let's do this reading. I see you at the piles, guys. Hello, pile one. So this is your signifier. And I want to read the word because I've written words on them. So we're going to see... Why is he avoiding you in the connection? And the word is, <clears throat> I will call you. Okay. So this is interesting. Let's see. So your person, part one, um, I'm feeling here with this, I will call you, that your person wants to have the freedom to reach out to you. Okay. So if you are in a no a contact situation in a separation where you guys have no contact right now please wait for your person because i will call you tells me exactly that this person wants to make the first step it's not you okay so if you asked yourself in this pile maybe that's um, a confirmation if you asked yourself if you should reach out to your person no okay i will call you means that your person <clears throat> your one wants to have the freedom to come back to you so now we're going to see the, um, the cards that are pre-shuffled. We have the world card. I must look how I do the... Um, <clears throat> we have the empress. Wow. That's like major arcana, big major arcana. And we have the queen of swords. <clears throat> then we have the gate a barrier keeps you from your goal and we have the king authority and diplomacy mm -hmm. and that's why also the empress is here you know and the empress is in the middle of the reading we have the king here and the empress all right <clears throat> so let's see how i can so we have then also number 47, individuality. And we also have the birds for communication. Yeah, the bird stands for communication. So I feel with this card that you really want to communicate with your person. Yeah, you really want the communication again. You want this and feel that you are a very individual like very unique personality yeah we also see this with this woman um you might have tattoos or sp spots in your in your face that are very significant for your person for example they like your moles or dimples you know or your lips or um your eyes there is in in your face there are unique features that your person really adores we also have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment and then we also have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens <clears throat> and this is interesting Mm 
this is very very interesting so i see here that with the world card <clears throat> there was an ending yeah um maybe because you guys are if the world card it comes out first as overall energy it could be that um you guys are separated because of um because you live in different parts of the world right um, maybe you only had communication via the internet that's why the world card could be here as well and we see this king um, this is you know this is signifying your person and the king is an emperor you know it's authority and diplomacy so and we see here very strong the authority that your person wants to have um, your person is turning <coughs> your back upon the whole situation yeah we can see him facing the past um because on the left side there is always this past for me and i feel that your person right now with this forgiving and learning card um they are releasing the past that you had together and they are releasing um all or everything that um everything that made him close this chapter of his life but it's not as dramatic as it sounds but i'm feeling your person is um, avoiding you and the connection because they are forgiving and learning whatever happens in the other chapter that they're closing so see it as chapters yeah this person is opening and closing chapters with you with the empress being here in the middle um this tells me that you are one of their empresses if this is the king, meaning you are one of the possibilities to become their future wife. Um, because you are depicted here as the empress. But we also see... <laughs> so cute. We also see the queen of swords. yeah, And the queen of swords is facing to the right. Yeah, it's very interesting. The king is facing to the left. The queen of swords is facing to the right. So I feel the queen of swords is your present energy. Yeah, You are depicted as this queen of swords. That means you don't have um, a significant other at this time. You are basically single and you're looking at this gate. You're trying to figure out what went wrong and that's why you also look at or watch this video and it says a barrier keeps you from your goal so you're trying to find out what this barrier is i'm feeling here and you also turn your back upon being the empress of the world upon your king so if we see these two um together it's like you're not in contact you're not even facing each other so i feel this is a situation this is a situation right now where both of you are focused on other things in life. Um, he is um, focused on the past. And I even feel that um, maybe he went back to an ex or maybe there's another woman because we have the Empress here. And I'm feeling that um, maybe he went back to a woman of his past. It could even be his mother that he is focusing on right now. But I'm rather feeling that he focused, he... Um, was closing this chapter with you because he wanted you know he he is kind of now focusing on the chapter in the past and we don't know what this is yeah but this belongs to his past and it could be that it's related to another empress another possibility of the throne basically if you want to call it so your person is or avoiding the connection because they released it because um, they wanted to focus on someone or something from their past and that's why they are avoiding this with you yeah um, whereas you are trying to find out why is the gate closed why is he not talking to you why is this uh, door closed at the moment um, I also feel that you did not have a long relationship with that person. I feel that he cut it off while you guys get got to know each other because um, we also see two women here. So what I'm rather feeling is that maybe you and another person, we see this guy here getting to know two women and we have the two cubits here, even three. 
Yeah. So I'm feeling this is a third party situation. I'm feeling here pub one and it does and, and I don't want to, you know, make you sad or something, but I'm feeling that your person is trying to find out who is their empress, who is the one basically. And, um, you know, with the world and the empress, they want to give the world to the empress, to the, basically to the real, um, queen. And I'm feeling that while you were getting to know each other, there was something about you with this individual, with individuality here. I feel that you guys have a soul bond with this bird, but I also feel that you were a further away from your person than the other one. Yeah. So I really feel here two situations. I'm feeling that your person is really avoiding contact with you because they really, um, are into you. Yeah, I'm really seeing this because of this also this forgiving and learning card. Um, I feel that. See, I want to make it short and, and say um, like your person was getting to know you via in the Internet. And this is what's coming through. You guys met maybe on the world, on the Internet or in vacation or whatever, but um, you did not. You, or you do not live in the same country and you know the other person that your person is focused on right now lives near them so um it's easier for them to focus on that and they already met this person in the past so what i'm feeling here pal one is that why your person or why your person is avoiding you and the connection is because they got to know you and you you were very individual you are very individual and you're different from what they used to date in the past so they kind of got scared this is what's coming through you know they kind of got um they said may i, ca I cannot do this you know this this person is too individual this person is not fitting um to what i'm used to so they kind of um maybe in germany we have the saying got cold feet because it was so different and because they see the, saw the empress in you yeah, I'm, I'm really seeing this empress as you. Um, so they noticed that they could fall harder for you. And then basically it's no escape for them anymore. So that's why I feel in the process of getting to know it, you, they saw that you had the potential or you are the potential of becoming their empress. But, um, you know, with the queen of swords, you know, the queen of swords is not really liked by a lot of people because um, she's too individual. She's not um, really bending down or, you know, like adapting very good to situations. You know, the Queen of Swords always speaks her truth. The Queen of Swords is a strong woman um, and she speaks up. And I think that what's, ha what's happened, they noticed that um, you are very strong. You speak your truth. You're very individual. You stand to who and what you are. You know who you are. Um, you're very outspoken with the bird. You communicate very strong. And they were not, either were not used to that or they were afraid that there is conflict in their world, in their surrounding. So that's what why they got cold feet and that's why they avoid this connection and rather focus either on someone else or on the past, trying to heal the situation. So let's see. But with this, I will call you. That's like a promise. For me, this tells me that this person will come back to you. There is a chance in the future. Also, I see this Queen of Swords looking into the future. Um, let me get more cards. Why is Pile One's person avoiding the connection with Pile One? Why is Pile One's person... Okay, we have the Siren, alluring, seductive mysterious rebellious see that's what i said you are like a siren you called them in but they were not used to um such individuality before you know so it was strange for them that's why you know they're, they're trying to hold themselves back because if they would um be with you or contact you they would they have the feeling they get um like a magnet drawn in and then they cannot escape anymore and this person is a king, you know, they have to have certain standards. And that doesn't mean that, you know, you don't fulfill the standards for them. But um, basically a king cannot really 
focus on a woman that's too different from his world right from his so that's what happened and um that's why he's avoiding why is pile one avoiding pile one we have the unsaid showing i love you or i like you without physically saying it didn't say it yet so you guys had only communication they were not touching you they were not um, kissing you they, you guys have not met pretty sure about this and that's why you know before your person said well i'd rather run before i fall too deep and i get to know her and then i fall in love and um you know i think you understand what i want to say so let's see what happens in the future let's look into the future if there oop, is there if there is a pos possibility of a comeback here mm. and i want to use this master tarot deck um for pile one will there be a comeback in the future is person one what can you tell me about the future? I will call you. What does that mean? What is happening with this couple here in the future? One card flew out. We have the avoidance. What will happen in the future here? We have the Hierophant. Wow. And the Three of Swords. <clears throat> so we have the Hierophant and basically your person. When we see here, you know, there is a spiritual connection between the two of you. The Hierophant means you guys, you know, there is a spiritual connection. The Hierophant means that there are certain values that they have to obey because they are shown here as the king yeah and um basically it says that if you guys come into a, a relationship if there would be a relationship something else has to go which gives them and their surrounding heartbreak yeah um this tells me that there is this choice yeah, there is this choice and your person mm, right now, they ran away even right now from this choice. They're not really wanting to make this choice. And it's um, basically that if you guys have a relationship, there's something going. Yeah, there's something leaving. And this could be people leaving, maybe from their childhood or you know that because you are so different that um you know that they have there there are values and ethics or a belief system that has to go um so basically there is the chance for a, co um, a relationship but um in order to come with you into this relationship your person has to let go something he isn't right now not ready to let go it gives him a heartbreak Okay, so let's get one more card from the angels. Like what you should focus on, Pal 1. What should Pal 1 focus on right now? What should Pal 1 focus on? What should Pal 1 focus on? What should Pal 1 focus on? Okay, we have friendship and union. Okay, so this tells me that you should be open, you should stay open for this union, yeah? Don't cut it completely off. At the moment, it's not happening, yeah? But um, maybe view it more as a friendship, maybe keep a friendship with that person, yeah? But I see that you should be open for the possibility of a union in the future. We have the Hierophant, which speaks of marriage here in the future. I will call you. This person will talk to you again. But at the moment, this is why they avoid the connection. Okay. 
This is all what I'm having, my part one. Bye. Hello, my part two. Part two is always my spiritual pile. So let's see if this is the case again today as well. My twin flame pile is always part two. So why is your person avoiding you in the connection? This is the card that you chose. And on the back, there's always this um, saying that I've rolled on them. And wow, it says next year. Okay, so there will be a solution coming next year. An answer why your person was avoiding you is coming next year. And I also feel that there will be a reunion with that person next year. So we're talking about um, one year or next year from the moment you watch this reading. Okay, so we are in 2022 now. So if you watch it now, it will be uh, at the end of 2023 or in the whole year 2023. Yeah, so please apply it as it fits. Now I want to see the cards. So we have the star. <clears throat> we have the two of cups. Wow. Yeah. And we have the Page of Cups. We have the Sun. Your perseverance is rewarded. And we have the Rejuvenation and Fulfillment. Wow. There's love here for sure, pile pile two. Um, but we see all the other cards as well. Wow, we have the beauty, and this card always represents you in this connection, the rose. And we also have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Oh, wow. And we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Wow. So this is coming next year, guys. Wow. Okay, I have two things. This reading goes two directions. Yeah, I just want to say this because, um, you know, there are many purple lights on my channel watching this. Um, and there are also different answers to pile two today. Yeah, sometimes there is only one answer. And this pile gives me two different two different ideas on why your person is avoiding you and the connection. <coughs> yeah. First off, I want to talk about the soul connection. Yeah, this is what I always see when I see pile two. It's always the soul connection. We have the two of cups here. We have the star here. This is this spiritual love, this love made by the stars, basically. Um, the star also speaks of healing and the star speaks of um, hope. Yeah, there is hope for this connection. We also see the page of cups. Um, the page of cups could speak of a child. Um, this means that whenever you meet again, you will be in honeymoon holidays and you will be playful and you will conceive this child okay so basically why are they avoiding you and the connection it's something that is made from the stars because the first card came out and it was the star card here and yes the star could be a person that is famous as well so please take it as it resonates it could also be that this is um for my soul piles with the famous divine counterpart um you know, when you guys will meet, you will conceive this child, I have the feeling here, and you will be in honeymoon, you will be playful with each other, there will be this shining love. And the sun card speaks of perseverance being rewarded, you know, this beautiful sun energy that is enlightening 
this love and is rejuvenating. Yeah. So what I'm seeing here is that this is happening. Parts of this is happening next year. So I feel that the universe right now is holding this connection because the moment you guys would meet face to face, and I don't think you have met, the moment you will meet, you will fall in love. You will never fall ever out of love again. This is beautiful. You will even marry, I'm feeling here. And you will conceive this child. And that's why the universe is holding it in, because it's not the timing yet to, you know, for the child to be there. So this is very, very specific. So if you ever felt like this, this could be your pile. Okay. Um, another reason is that we, if we don't see the page of cups as a child of love, we could also see it as um, an admiration from afar. And they're holding it back because they know the moment that you guys meet, you would be playful, you would go on honeymoon, and you would never um, entangle each other again. So basically that means the universe and the sun, it's like made this, this, this um, avoidance is produced by the universe in order to keep you guys separated because it's not time yet for you to meet. Yeah, the beauty, the rose, it's not time yet to come into full bloom. Basically, there's still growth behind the scenes, but it's not there yet. That means um, once you meet this person, this person you will marry. Yeah, this will be your one. You will marry, you will have children together and it's not the time yet. And the universe is producing something that, um, yeah, is almost like a, a barrier that's invisible. Don't even know what the barrier is because here actually there's this endless love you know we see this here with the star it's an endless love it's an infinite love it's a love made by the universe but the moment you guys meet in person it's done you know you you guys would be together and it's not the timing for whatever reason for this to happen so this is a spiritual bond that has not met yet yeah um and then i also have a third see it's even three things why they are avoiding you it's because it's because i'm feeling here that um Well, for some of you, if your person is married or has a child, um, they're ignoring you or they're avoiding this connection because they want to make up to their um, to the one where the child, to the one woman where the child is from. So basically, they go back to the mother of their child, and they want to try to reconcile to rejuvenate this connection, and that's why you know, um, basically for them, it's important to stay. Where the mother of the child is okay so maybe that's why they're avoiding you but this is like in on my channel there are a lot of you who never experienced this so i don't think this is um part of wh why they are avoiding you but it could be that you know new people are coming to my channel and they had an affair or you had an affair with a married person or um you know this is someone that went back to the mother of their child that's i, I want to say this yeah but they will be back next year there's something here happening next year which is very positive for you because the beauty the rose is depicted as you so i'm seeing that um there will be reconciliation next year okay with you but why are they avoiding you because they went back because of some unfinished business with a mother and a child from them that's what i'm feeling Okay, so those are the three possibilities. So let's see. Why is pile two avoiding? Give me more information. Why is pile two avoiding? Okay, we have a strategy. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about desires. See, and this tells me that desi the desire to be with you is very strong, but they kind of keep it, you know, they see the potential with you. They see the love with you. They see the 
the future with you, having children with you. But their strategy of right now is not to um, follow their desire because of something, um, you know, what is important for them, where they have to persevere at the moment. Yeah, for some other things that they have to persevere, they cannot give in the desire with you. Why is part two avoiding this connection? Okay, we also have expectations. Confirm you you want the same things. Prioritize the relationship. Expectation yields result. And this tells me very strong what I said before is that, um, you know, at the moment they cannot prioritize the relationship. And they know if you guys meet up, you will be a relationship, basically. Yeah? You will be this relationship. So let's look into next year. What is happening next year that is shown with this beautiful rose? What's happening with next year? Is I feel there is a reunion coming. This person is coming back. What's happening? Or this person is meeting you for the first time. <coughs> and I do that with a Master Tarot deck. What is happening here next year? Pile 2. Okay, we have the death card. Yes, it's the death of this situation, okay? Whatever holds them back now is transforming next year. Yes, the Empress. Wow. So I feel here the Empress is depicted as you. And we have the Eight and the Page of Wands. Yes, they venture out. Yeah. This tells me that, you know, they're ready to work with you step by step. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles could also be work. That, um, you know, they, they're closing a chapter in their life and they're starting with a Page of Wands, starting to follow their passion. So basically what is happening next year is that they cannot hold the desire to be with you any longer. They cannot hold it in. Because what we see here is they have to prioritize a situation where there's even a mother, like there's either a mother with a child that they have to care for or they want to be or try to be with them to reconcile with that, um, with their past right now. Or it's a situation where, you know, they, they have to be in the spotlight with the sun here. They cannot pr prioritize the situation, um, this relationship. They have to focus on other things and they, they know the moment they meet you, they will be in. Yeah. And so um, next year, there is this death of this old situation, what we have here. So it's changing next year. Very beautiful. And they follow their desires. The Page of Wands is looking at his wands and he's following his desire and tries to work on. So what is the advice here? What is the advice for Pal 2? Okay, that was fast. And it says, Mother, Father, God. Mm, I'm seeing this as Mother, Father. You know, we all have different roles in our life. And it could be that your person has the role of being a father to someone else, maybe. You know, and also ha becomes or goes into this role of being a father with you being the mother, you know. And um, this is about respecting their choices. Yeah, I'm feeling respect their choice, whatever happens right now. Um, you know, it's it's lifting you up. It's kind of, um, you know, being patient and being persevere, holding on to this connection. Yeah, holding on to it mm. and believing because the God is about believing as well. I'm feeling that this this tells you that you should believe in that because you will also have a family with that person and um, you know it could be that in order to have your own family with that person it's important to respect the other family that this person has right now yeah that's what I'm strongly feeling but I want to also look into what this card means Okay, it says, whatever stories you may have heard um, about God being judgmental must be washed away. Divine energy could never hold a crutch against you, for you are an extension of its love. 
The power and presence of the creator are not only with you, but within you. If you have ever felt that you aren't good enough or that you are being judged or that you haven't been the best you can be, know that you are forgiven. Angels are with you and help create a healing wave between you and your divine parent. This card brings the possibility of parental healing. If you would like to clear in difficult energies between you and your parents or ancestry, know that angels are ready to help. Yes. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that anything is possible for you. No matter what you are maybe going through, you are always connected to the source of creation. So basically, whatever you will create with that person in the future, they have to create right now whatever is best for their family right now, what, whoever, whatever this is for them right now. Okay? Pile two. That's all what I'm having. I hope you like it. Bye. Hello, pile three. Welcome to your reading. Um, this reading is all about why is this person or why is your person avoiding you and the connection. First of all, I want to turn around the card because there is always a word I wrote on it. And says universe. Okay, so I feel this is a guided connection. The universe is guiding the connection. The universe is um, for you and for your person probably um, very important. Yeah, I feel this is a soul connection. So let's see, why is this person avoiding? We have the magician. We have the nine of cups. <clears throat> we have the hanged man yeah and the hanged man is the passive card okay this tells me that this connection is really right now in the hanging position there's nothing happening no contact we have spirit the universe again unseen forces watch over you I want to put it here because we have spirit here so the universe is with you in that time. Yeah, You can be sure that you're not alone. Chimera, imagination clouds your judgment. It tells me that you kind of um, go crazy. Also with the nine of cups here, you might drink too much because your person is not responding to you. Maybe you try, um, you know, to get back to them or to write them. But I feel here that you 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 judge them more than it's necessary. Let's see what else. We have the contract, the success. Interesting. So this is the spiritual contract that you guys have with the concrete because this card also is, is always related to you in my reading here. Um, so you have this contract that you guys are in the spiritual connection there is a contract here so um and for those of you who don't believe in that it just means that um you know you guys will meet again because if we have the universe the angels that watch over you and the contract then this is a very very deep soul connection we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going okay and part three, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, exactly. Hmm. What we have here is a situation where um, we look at this angel watching at unseen forces and then she watches at the death, at the skull. Yeah. That means there was something in this connection yeah there was something going on while you or I feel from your person's end we have the magician there was something created between the two of you yeah we have a meeting here we have something that was created um, you had all the tools to make it happen and I feel your person made something happen so you guys could have met up you guys could have um, you know gone to a restaurant this could have been a date this could have been simply a date. This could have been that you were talking to each other. There's something here that you guys met. Yeah, you've met this person. 
or they have noticed you. But I'm strongly feeling the magician from their end. They know who you are. So if you ever doubt or if you don't know, if your person knows, yes, path three person knows exactly who you are. But um, imagination clouds your judgment. There was judgment happening here while they were, um, you know, while the magician created. And we have this symbol here. So basically, I'm feeling that your person tries to create a special, special person. Um, basically, with the imagination, that means that your person, your one, has a certain type in mind. They have a certain type in mind. They have a certain way how you react in mind. They have in mind how you should look like. So basically, the imagination, there was a picture they had in their mind. And the moment you guys met up, this was basically transformed into an unrequited love because I'm feeling your person is avoiding you because you are not um, fitting. And I don't want to say it in a bad word. You know, you are not meeting their requirements. This almost feels like, you know, because sometimes the magician is a person um, who has all the tools, but is also, you know, very much in their head, very much egocentric, you know, someone that only thinks of... Um, their own values, their own um, ideas, yeah, and and that's what I see here. I see someone here that tries to create someone specific, um, something specific, yeah. So basically, if you want to create, how can I say that? I'm trying to find an example. So maybe you have in mind one of our boys, um, and then you know you create your soulmate. Basically, you create a meeting with your soulmate and your soulmate does not resemble one of our boys. And you basically had this judgment in your mind that, um, you know, they have to look like some of our, one of our boys. And um, then the person who is actually your soulmate differs from that. And that's when, when you know, when you meet up and or when you see them, you say, no, this can't be my soulmate. Um, they're not looking like how I imagined. That's what exactly what's happened here. Your person is avoiding you because you not ticked all the ticked all the boxes. This is a very superficial way here. This is not that you have been in a relationship. This is um, they created something with you where you maybe had only a date or where you had a one night stand and they were judging the situation. This person here, the magician, um, they are a power creator. Yeah, there's someone they can create things, and um, yeah, what I see here is that. Maybe you are a soulmate and they wanted to create their twin flame because we also have them love yourself first. They want to love their twin flame first before you and you were in their eyes just a soulmate. You know what I mean? And that's why they said, oh no, 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 I want to create something else. And that's why they stepped back and try now to create something else. This is the situation. This is why they're avoiding you basically because you have the soul contract you guys are made from the universe, you know, you guys are, should be together from the universe. But at this moment in 3D, the moment they created together with you, there was something happening where on their side, they said it's not the one, okay? They were not satisfied with maybe your topics that you talked about um, or looks, whatever. Yeah, this is something superficial. And purple lights, if, if your person, yeah, is judging love by something like this. You need to let him grow up. You need to let this go. You need to love yourself first. Yeah, let him go and create whatever he wants to create first. Because, um, I mean, in soul contracts, we know this is not going to be the end. So, guys, um, I had to stop the video because there was um, a disruption. So, um with that telling me that, you know, this is just um, a short pause, break in this whole, um, <clears throat> yeah, in this whole soul journey, because I'm feeling here strongly, this is a strong soul connection, where this, you know, is this push and pull conflict, and um, your person is avoiding the connection, because at the moment, um, <clears throat> they 
told themselves they don't want to manifest. We also have the hangman here, yeah? And the hangman is the most passive card, but we see this holy, um, you know, you see the light around his head. This is the epiphany, yeah? And I'm feeling here that the epiphany will come to your person from the universe. And this is when, you know, the epiphany to to become self-confident and also for you, yeah? <clears throat> so let's see. Why is Pi 3 avoiding the connection? Give me two cards. Why is Pi 3 avoiding the connection? <clears throat> Okay, two cards fell out. Sorry, not sorry. Friction, sarcasm, false apology. Forgive, make amends, harboring hurts and resentment. This this goes hand in hand with the unrequited love thing here. Um, and then we have the other, an admirer from afar, a fork in the road option, interested in another man or woman. So this could also be that they had another option okay and this option was more interesting for them and um so they choose as i said before you know they could think that the other one is <clears throat> you know um, maybe their soulmate and they're more interested in loving their soulmate and you are their twin flame you know i'm seeing here that as well they could have had more options and so they chose the other one <clears throat> This makes sense though this makes so much sense because we also have unseen forces watch over you um there was something that you did not see because um you know from your end you you cannot see into this person's life you know <clears throat> sometimes we don't know things right so let's see what happens in the future with this contract with the soul contract what's going on here because this tells me that's just a break yeah the hangman tells me it's not over <clears throat> What's going on? What um what happens in the yeah, okay. <clears throat> so we have the seven of cups. And there's also we have the five of wands <clears throat> and the king of cups. Okay, there's a transformation here with the king of cups. And here we also see all the other choices, you know, and I feel your person, um, part three, wanted to pick one of the other choices. And that's why it says unrequited love, because at the moment, you know, um, they, they avoid you because they don't want to concentrate on you guys' connection. Um, for them, <clears throat> you see all the other different cups have different things in them. And, um, you know, the, the first card came out, the magician. And we had this energy in on my channel before, you know, it's this person who wants to manifest everything else before they manifest love. And so <clears throat> maybe also they chose as the other person, there was someone that they chose because it was more convenient for them to pursue another connection at the moment. Okay. We have here with the, with the five of wands, there's a lot of competition and this person is very competitive. Okay. And um, <clears throat> something did not tick their box, yeah? And this means that, you know, you don't need to change path three, yeah? But something in this person or from this person's view here, maybe they have all these different boxes that they require a person to fit in. And so you didn't tick one of the boxes or more, and so they said, well, <clears throat> you know, another competition won here. But with the King of Cups, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that um, <clears throat> when this person is maturing into the King of Cups, I feel this person is not mature yet. And when this person is maturing into the King of Cups, that there will be a reunion of this contract because we have the contract here and we have the hangman as the last card, so there is a pause, but this person has to move up, has to <clears throat> move into this king of cups, and your person is not there yet. 
okay and that's why they're avoiding the connection because they think um they don't want to pursue it at the moment yeah so let's see what the universe is advising you to do <clears throat> what is the universe advising path three <clears throat> and this card turned around and have we have surrender yeah <clears throat> I feel here that you really want to manifest this connection, but um, you know, the more you try, the more this person is running away from it, because this is a strong, strong connection. We have the contract here, and um, <clears throat> you know, for you, it's important to just surrender everything. It's not your fault, and just because you didn't take a box, this person doesn't matter. That you know, it doesn't mean that you are. You have to change. In order to fit in no guys you know this person has to mature um, sometimes the magician can be seen as someone who just manifests from their ego ego point of view so you know sometimes this imagination they have of that person of their one has to change for them yeah and so I'm feeling here pile I want to read this as well part three that you need to just surrender the outcome just be happy with whatever happens and um, put this connection in the back of your mind don't pursue it now because um, you cannot pursue this connection now this person is not interested at the moment and you know me I'm, I'm very honest about what I'm reading and what I'm seeing so <clears throat> it has it says surrender is a spiritual practice and it's not an easy one but angels are working in your favor and their miracles will unfold with ease when you move into a state of trust. Call back your power and stop allowing external forces. This is what I mean. To divert you from the miracles you deserve. Take time to realize that in order to be helped, you must surrender your need for control over the situation that is on your mind. Hand over your concerns and the entire situation to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you will allow angels of light to swoop in and help everything transform. When you open up and release your concerns, you open up to support and miracles. You are a vessel and you contain light. Call in angels and invite them to help you surrender and release anything that could be blocking your experiences of miracles. Okay? So this is why they are avoiding this connection. And please stay strong, Purple Light Path 3. Surrender to whatever comes. This is a very strong spiritual journey. Yeah. I see you, Pile 3. Bye. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. Why are they avoiding you? So we're going to look into this connection. Yeah. The first card is the card you chose, the space card. And there is something written and we have separation. So you and this person are in separation right now. And yes, that's why are you are watching this reading, right? Because we're also asking why are they avoiding this connection? So I hope everything you see good. So let's look at the cards and then we're going to see. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Interesting. Wow, we have two aces and the ace of pentacles. We have serendipity. Bright new her prospects are on the horizons. Wow. And we have the moon. You will be guided through darkness. We have meditation, and then this is the card that is always showing for me what you and this person, yeah, this is more on your end, and you see that both of them are holding hands. So you and this person are always connected, even in separation. Yeah, you, you hold each other's hands, even if you are separated. We have reconciliation, beautiful. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so, <clears throat> so 
So you guys are in separation and why are they avoiding the connection? Um, your person has noticed or realized that you guys are connected on the subconscious. You guys have a very strong um, connection that is ongoing even during separation. So your person noticed, um, you know, also with the Six of Cups, that you shared past lives, that you have, um, you know, that, that, that basically they feel this soul connection or they felt this for, for the first time a soul connection. Um, I don't think your person has ever had a soul connection before. So with this Ace of Swords, you know, in the middle being here, this is the realization. This is the, um, you know, this is the, the truth. They noticed the truth that the both of you cannot lose each other. Okay. So why are they avoiding the connection? I feel this person is someone um that knows i feel here you know pi four i'm pretty sure your person is the divine feminine so you might be the divine masculine watching yeah this happens a lot in my readings because of cross watchers um or maybe there are some divine masculines already on our channel watching but i'm feeling a divine feminine here i'm feeling a divine feminine that is knowing that even in separation, you guys are always connected. You guys are always holding hands and that the serendipity, you know, this fated meeting of yours will come back. Yeah, this person here knows exactly. They know the truth about this connection. And why are they avoiding you? Because um, they feel that right now there is um, this energy of codependency going on. And we see here this divine feminine and she knows. Yeah, addictions are affecting your romantic love life. I feel here that your one is a divine feminine, maybe even more advanced in this spiritual connection than you. And this person knows exactly that you cannot change the outcome of the situation that you will reconcile again because you are lovers from a past life. You are belonging together. I feel that they know this. With the six of cups here you know you share all these memories together and they know that um, this serendipitous meeting this reconciliation will happen or basically they trust in this yeah and your person thinks that the separation is um, necessary in order for you to focus on your on your strength and in order for you to each one work on their own um demons so basically this is a person that is very advanced in the spiritual journey with the moon. They are highly spiritual. You will be guided through darkness. They know that you both are guided by your angels. They know that both of you will meet again. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. And that there will be a better start even when you guys um, work on your shadow sides in separation. So it's basically they're avoiding you because... They know that the separation right now is necessary. They know that, um, you know, there was too much codependency going on in your connection, meaning you were too much, um, like maybe holding each other back from working on yourselves. Can I see um, pile four? Why are they avoiding the connection? Okay, two cards came out. And we have one date. Give it at least one date. It takes time to know someone. Take a chance. Switch up your type. So <clears throat> this, yeah, this tells me that maybe you even only had one date. Yeah, but I feel that you were dating here. But I see with this date, with this finger, um, it almost feels as if they don't want that one day you point the fingers at each other. And that you lose each other. Because this person wants that both of you are healed before you come together. It's almost as they're saying, well, you remain my one. You always, our hands are always together. Yeah, we have the hands here. Yeah, maybe you even meet up in meditation, in dreams. Your person knows this. And we have who's walking who. Control, power issues, un unenthusiastic, being led on, getting overwhelmed. So this is this who's walking who. Um, yeah, this is this card of the codependency. 
yeah that you both of you in the in union were too much relying on the other's energy it's like you you know here it's 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 meaning you could have dated or you could not have dated but your energies were mingled yeah you had a union with that person your energy were mingled but um they're avoiding you because they think that in union they felt that their energy was gone and they want that each of you to be individual selves with healed um, hearts to come together for a beautiful new start. And that's why they avoid you because they don't they, they want that you work on this yourself. So can I see the future of this beautiful connection? Again, this card fell out. The six of cups twice. So very strong soul bond. It's almost as if they see this. Um, we see here this, you know, little kid giving the cup to the other little kid. So this tells me that maybe they see that both of you have to grow up in order to meet again and have this beautiful connection that maybe it was too early to come together. Maybe you were still children and that's why they cut it off. The Queen of Swords. But they still single. The Queen of Swords is the single queen. She's not married. So they cut it off and they're waiting. Yeah, they're waiting in separation. They're, they're staying single. But um, they cut it off because they think that maybe you were too childish in this connection. Maybe it's not, um, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't work out if you guys were living together or something. One more card. Two cards came out, so I'm taking it. Yeah, the Page of Swords. And you see this here, the King of, Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. It's almost as if there was an age difference between the two of you. And one of you thought this age difference is more like a codependency issue. Yeah. So this could be like a mother um, relationship, you know, that someone was more codependent than the other or one wanted to be free and the other person wanted to, um, you know, um, like care more and, and um, you know, you guys know what a codependency is, right? Between two people. It's like, you know, maybe the feminine energy, maybe they were too motherly to you and you wanted to be free or it was the other way around. And we have the Eight of Swords here coming with the Page of Swords. So, yeah, I'm feeling that because the Queen of Swords was too nurturing. I feel the energy almost overwhelmed the Page of Swords. So I see your person in the Page of Swords energy. I see you more in the Queen of Swords energy or vice versa. Please take it as it resonates because I'm feeling here that one, you know, your person is avoiding you because they retreated. They draw back their energy. They took back their energy because they thought that there was a big difference between the two of you in energy wise, maybe age wise, and it would not have worked out. It would be more like a codependency relationship if you guys, um, you know, were, had continued this connection. And so that's why they avoid you at the moment because they want that each of you works on their own shadows. And they know that this is serendipity, that you guys have a soul connection and that you guys will meet again, that you will reconcile again. Yeah, they really trust in that. And that's why they avoid this connection. Yeah. Okay, guys. Path four. So that's all what I'm having. Yeah. I hope you like this reading. I hope I could help you a little bit. And I'm saying bye.